Hola! For today's video, I'm going to show to you the activities I do during the Holy Week. Philippines is deemed to be a Catholic country as 86% of its population is a Roman Catholic. And as a Catholic country, it is already a tradition to commemorate the agony, the death, and the resurrection of Christ in which we call the Holy Week or the Semana Santa. A few years back before the pandemic started, I participated in a unique tradition in our congregation which we call the Easter Cantata where the youths will sing wholeheartedly and rejoice to the resurrection of Christ. Here are some of the photos during the event and I'll be showing to you the glimpse of our presentation during the Easter Cantata 2019. of pandemic we weren't able to celebrate holy week the way we used to but fortunately this year the ban was lifted and we are given the opportunity to celebrate holy week like how we used to but since i'm currently staying here in manila i cannot participate in our congregation's easter cantata 2022 but rather i'll be celebrating my holy week with a common tradition a common catholic tradition which i never tried my whole life which they call the visita iglesia Visita Iglesia is like visiting at least 7 to 14 Catholic churches nearby. Let's go! And for our first stop is Sacred Heart Parish Shrine located in Kamanin, Quezon City. In the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cabal. This is indeed one of the most beautiful churches in Metro Manila and this is where Ding Dong Dantes and Marion Rivera exchanged their vows. So since we are done in our second church, let's go to our third. And I'm currently in St. Joseph Shrine, Diocese of Cabal. Hello, I'm Diana Rivera, Diocese of Cabal. And we're done with our third church and let's go to our fourth. So we are in our fourth church and it is called the Our Lady of Abandoned Church. This 328-year-old church enshrines one of the several images of the Virgin Mary venerated as miraculous and had received a papal recognition. So in our fourth church and let's go to our fifth. with our prayers and let's go to our sixth stop and for our sixth stop we are in Santo Domingo Church formerly known as the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary it is the largest church in Metro Manila and one of the biggest churches in Asia it is dedicated to Mary Mother of Jesus under her title Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary past seven and we are going to our final destination and for our last destination we are here in the shrine of mary queen of peace our lady of edsa or more popularly known as the edsa shrine it is a small church of roman catholic archdiocese of manila this shrine is famous as it commemorates the people power revolution the shrine is the site of two peaceful demonstrations that toppled president Ferdinand marcus during the People Power Revolution or the EDSA 1 in 1986 and the Joseph Estrada during the EDSA Revolution of 2001 or EDSA 2. They have here the lyrics of the famous song sung during the People Power Revolution. It's already very dark inside so we just say our prayers and we that's it for Visita Iglesia of year 2022. It was a long, tiring, yet very fun and adventurous day. Hope you had fun jumping from one church to another with me. 
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!